Have you ever been like so persistent on a goal like it didn't matter how much failure you met, you were gonna make this happen and you just kept trying over and over and over again and just nothing would happen? Oh, it's frustrating, right? What is up, my fellow goal getter? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications if you want the best tips on how to crush your goals and dominate life. Because today we're gonna talk about how to learn what needs to change. And we're getting started right now. All right, so the crazy thing is, is that most of us a lot of us, and I am so guilty of this, I finally learned this concept that's made so much difference in everything, but we will do the same thing over and over and over and over again and expect a different result. And that's insanity. That is like literally the exact definition of insanity. But I can dig it because, you know, the persistence and I'm going to make this happen. But if we keep doing something, the same thing, over and over and over again, we're going to keep getting the same results more than likely. And at this point, this is when a lot of people quit on their goals and they select new goals. But that's backwards and it's all wrong. The key is to not quit on your goal, but to keep the same goal. Be, be, be stubborn with the goal, but flexible with the approach keep the goal and change the approach. If we do that, there's no way that we could fail because I mean look at look at uh the Thomas Edison. The dude, I don't know the exact number, so many stuff thrown out there on the internet, but apparently he tried thousands of different times of trying to create the light bulb and eventually he found out a formula that worked on how to create the light bulb. So he failed all over and over and over again, but he kept changing his approach until he found a way how to successfully create the light bulb. That's, that's how we work, like it, a fly in the room, stuck in a room, and it's, you ever notice a fly is by a window and it just keeps flying into the window over and over and over again? That's insanity, it's trying the same approach over and over again, and it's not gonna find success more than likely. And eventually, the fly is gonna die. But if the fly would just back up from the window and search for another escape route, leave out the door or find an, uh, an open window or whatever, it might have a chance at escape and, and, and finding his happily fly family and living his fly life. But by continually flying into the window, it's not gonna find success. It's gotta change the whole approach. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So obviously, you can just keep on changing the approach until you find success, and that sounds simple and plain, right? But a lot of times we get stuck and we're like, I don't know what to do next. So the, the best way to, to find the next thing to do to get yourself closer to your goal is to ask yourself the right questions. I talked about this, I talk about it all the time in these videos. Questions direct our focus and what we focus on is what we get. So if we ask ourselves the right questions, and like we always talk about in this video, when you ask yourself a question, you gotta answer it. That's just how our brain works. Uh, if it hears a question, period, it it's immediately searches for the answer. So if we ask ourselves the right questions, and, and the questions like, What's the next best thing I can do to lead me closer to goal? How can I turn this around? What is it that I got to do next to get me to where I want to go? Uh, what am I missing here? How do I overcome this obstacle? You know, questions like that. That that literally forces you to to think and find solutions. You're focused on the solutions and not the problem. You're focused on how can I get to that next step. That's the best and most effective and efficient way of finding the next step to take and persisting through your goal to finding to the finding the success. You can't just keep doing the same thing over. But if we ask these questions and find different approaches, eventually, with enough persistence we will be successful. We have to look at failure in a different way because a, a lot of us look at failure as a bad thing. I know I did for a very long time. When I would fail at something, I would be really upset and I'd beat myself up about it. But really, failure is how we learn. Failure is part of the learning process. It's, it's literally how we learn. Like you didn't learn how to walk just by somebody telling you you had to fail over and over and over again to learn how to walk. Uh, it's true of everything we do, the best way to learn is by actually doing it, failing and, and figuring out what does and doesn't work and changing our approach until we figure out what does. So 
condition yourself to look at failure as a positive, as a means of bringing your, you closer to the, to the desired result. Finally, after we learn what does and doesn't work and we change up our approach, as we get closer to achieving our goals, always, always set new goals in each of the four categories that we talked about in the first step. Our personal development goals, our business and career goals, our toys and adventure goals, and our contribution goals. Always set more goals as we get closer to achieving them and raise the standards. That's what life is all about. It's all about growth and development. We are literally goal striving machines. Whenever we don't have something worthy to aim for, to shoot for, to work on, we are not happy and we don't feel fulfilled. So we always must have goals in front of us that we are aiming and shooting for. That's the key to, to true happiness. It's not accomplishing the goals that that leads to happiness because a lot of times if you don't have something in place you accomplish it and you're like was that it now what you know but when you have goals in place it's where you get the fulfillment from is the contribution actually per, contributing to society in some short short way for me that is but also it's who you become in the process it's not the actual thing you get like like say you wanted to you had a goal to make x amount of money to get a car like the car it's not going to bring the fulfillment but it's who you became in the process of how you were able to create the income to get the car and the experiences you had along the way that's what really matters and what we're really aiming and shooting for and if you haven't downloaded the free goal getter cheat sheet yet with all six steps you can get so get it so for free by checking out that link right there and if you enjoy this video and you want to watch more videos like it and you want to watch all the all the six steps of the goal getter cheat sheet make sure you check out this playlist right there and if you are not subscribed to this channel yet i am gonna quit i'm gonna start crying and i don't know about my self anymore not really, but seriously, if, I, if I'm bringing you value, if you feel like I am serving you with these videos and you are gaining value from them and it's helping you dominate your goals and dominate your life, make sure you hit subscribe, tap the bell notifications, that way you don't miss anything. And as always, my winning friend, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.